I remember being so cold that it was so hard to withstand. So I just, I kept numbing it and numbing it so I could just keep going. There was a lot of um, emotional baggage that I was completely unaware of. So um, within keeping that numb and not having to feel or deal with anything and just um, deal with like homelessness, that, that's a whole trauma within itself. I'd lied to myself for a really long time and put up with a lot of things that I shouldn't have. So I, I had felt defeated by every single thing in life. So I literally just gave up and within giving up, I started losing everything. And within losing everything, um, I started using drugs. I was facing homelessness, uh, drug addiction, um, domestic violence. Um, I would wander around aimlessly. I was suffering from PTSD, so I would wander around town, going nowhere, trusting no one, not knowing what was gonna happen and not caring whether I lived or died at that point. First time that I ever met somebody from Matt Talbot was and this is super important for my story, was um, Clarence, and it was from a laptop in the jail. And it was about a year before I actually took the opportunity, and I didn't take that opportunity. I'd got, I thought I was ready and I'd got out of jail, and I instantly started using drugs again immediately. So it was about a year later that I had the opportunity to come back in this program, and I decided that I was gonna take the opportunities, all of them in my life from now on. Even a year later, Clarence still knew who I was and hadn't given up on me. And I knew then that that was the support that I needed because I was so busy not trusting people and giving up on myself. And it was the, one of the first people that I realized didn't give up on me. My goal was to begin to work on um, the turmoil I had inside, to accept and take the support, to trust in somebody and something, and to take the opportunities that I hadn't before and to stick with them. I also um, am the house manager at the house, so some of the memorable things that I get to see are the, the changes and the growth within the women that are in the house. So it, it's super important for me internally because within um, their growth, I learn a lot about myself or within helping them and the advice that they need. It makes me see the growth that I had within myself because uh, I had lied to myself within, within the homelessness and the addiction for a long time. And I said, like, my daughters didn't need me. Nobody needed me anymore. To be at the place where they need me every single day and to be able to know that today is, is huge. And I'm, I'm super happy about the relationships that I have in my life. Like my sponsor is amazing. You know what I'm saying? These things that I never gave an opportunity to before. And I have these things and I'm super proud that I've saved a lot of money that I'm gonna be able to buy a house now. So I don't have to ever worry about being homeless again. I have support that I need. I have a foundation. I have a future. I have um, rebuilt all my relationships in my life. Um, I have a good job. So none of those things that I had when I, before I came in this program.